I think what makes Ireland such a special destination is actually just the place itself, the raw natural beauty of the country and how it varies so much from the eastern coast to the wild, rugged west coast. Stunning, beautiful cliffs. The northern coast is just amazing, but it's also different and, and lovely, but it's its raw natural beauty. It's phenomenal stuff, makes for great pictures, but it's the people that you meet along the way and the stories that they have to tell. Irish people are all about making connections and they're all about warmth. I think the people are just so welcoming in Ireland and, and we love we love chat, we love conversation, so Irish people love meeting other people and, and welcoming other people to Ireland. As a destination, I think Northern Ireland has so much to offer. Uh, it really is uh, a little region with so many stories to tell, whether it be people that you meet along your journey or unexpected pieces of scenery or just little incidents that happen. Ireland will always deliver you up something that you weren't expecting. It has in itself a unique type of culture, especially on the, the west coast where we have uh, still active pockets of the Gaelic culture in areas known as the Gaeltacht. And the language is very much a, a living part of that culture. And then, of course, I've got to say, because I'm involved in food, I've got to say the food. Our produce is just, it, it's second to none. And I think now it's so great that Ireland is becoming really well known for that. So whatever region you find yourself in Ireland, be it north, south, east or west, you're going to find yourself some really good food. They're the two things I love, the landscape and the people, but what glues it together I've found over the years is the culture and every time I go out on the road and every time I go exploring um, I find a new combination or a new permutation of those things and that's what keeps me enchanted.